Hey everybody, it's Andy, aka Max Ryder. We're right back where we left off in the crazy mines. Uh, it's crazy, I tell you what. Anyway, so um, I was talking about Rockefeller. Uh, he was very happy Felix was alive, and uh, in the end, he. Oh god, that is terrifying. Whoa! Where are you going, guy? Oh, there's another one. Who? That's a baby spider. I think that was a cave spider. I don't know where the skeleton went. I think he dropped as well. Oh, for crying out loud, this is... There are a lot of spiders up here. Anyway, so Rockefeller, this place just, oh no! Uh, Rockefeller's still upset. He thought he was brokering a peace. He thought he was making friends with the, the Migo, Migo. Um, in the end, ah. Uh, Holy crap. Yeah, that's a death drop. You know what? Screw it, man. Is that going to actually get rid of any of the lava down there? It is. Quite a bit of it. This will probably knock the freaking... Uh... Okay. Alright. So we're getting rid of that lava down there. Screw it. Anyway... They keep looking for Tommy Bailey. Um, the thing, the Migo, tells them he has been taken to Yagoth. Or death straight down. Oh, goodbye, death. Wow. Alright, I was right to name these the Crazy Mines. I thought I picked that back up. I didn't. That is, that is terrifying down there. Okay. Sorry guys, I went dead quiet. So the thing takes us back to the gate room. Um, and it's about then they decide, hey, maybe we could actually heal up uh, Virgil Thomas, who was badly injured during this whole ma mess. Okay, nothing up there. Let's drop a little more water over the edge here, just in case there's nasty down below. There's, there is. Oh, man. This all feels so dangerous. Uh, anyway... Not to mention these ledges. And we're out of torches again. So they go back to the gate room. Oh yeah, then, then some of them go back to uh, to get one of the Migo to actually heal up Virgil Thomas. Um, which is a whole other thing, apparently. And uh, they... <sighs> Don't see me. While they're gone, uh, Miss... The dilettante lady, Miss um, Miss Eddington, decides she is going to explore beyond the gate. That this brand new gate, they find this brand new gate, which I don't think I want to go in there. Do I? This just keeps going and going. <clears throat> Excuse me. 
uh, yeah, I'm freaking out a little. Let's go back to um to over here. Get this end of this horrible place lit. We still gotta go over there. That's right, we went up to get to that. How did I get that? Oh yeah, that's right, that's how I got back down. Alright, so let's go this way this time. all the deaths have been occurring let's repair this just for the just for the heck of it so she goes and explores this weird base um on yagoth which oh man. Yeah, i can i can get i can get down there i don't know if i want to which it turns out um they never find this out but it's some kind of Oh, that's really stupid. Okay. Um, she ends up looking through this weird base. She uh, finds Tommy Bailey. Surprise, surprise. Grabs him. He, she won't talk to him. She just grabs him. He asks her. her name. She asks him his name. He won't tell her until she tells him her name. She won't. So she just grabs him. She's like, screw it. I'm just going to grab him. Which she proceeds to do. <clears throat> and, of course, okay, the child is autistic. He doesn't like to be touched. You know, that's that kind of goes, not every time, but sometimes that goes with it. And at least, as Tommy Bailey was written up, it did go with it. Oh! Ouch, you're hurting me. Okay, let's get the water back. I want this lava gone. Sorry for you lava lovers, but that stuff is terrifying to me, especially since I've got a really nice suit of armor, and I've got some really nice items with mending on them that would be a pain to replace. Ah, oh, crap. Just gonna walk up to me? Ow. Okay. Anyway, so... We're going to get down there and we're going to finish off. I only have ten torches left. And there's more lava ahead. We're going to finish up down there with that and I'm going to finish the story. She runs back with Tommy Bailey. She gets back around the same time that... Um, we're going to have to chop this stuff up. Around the same time that Rockefeller and those guys get back. Or a little before, actually. So she just waits for Rockefeller and those guys. And... Um, they run back with Tommy Bailey. Uh, they leave the, the Migo that they had that had been essentially helping them, kind of as an experiment, to see what the humans would do, actually, was how I kind of pictured it. Um, they... They leave him behind. They're willing to let him live. Um... Rockefeller is offered to come with the Migo to see all the things that they can show him, all the sights, the terrible sights. Well, that's not what the Migo calls them. He doesn't call them terrible sights, but I was here before. <gasps> no! Okay, that'll do, that'll do. Stupid thing. These just keep going. They just never end so deep yeah that's part of that bottom of that ravine you can get down in the ravine from there I could see my house from down here oh not really not sure what that is but we're gonna deal with the rest of this lava uh, so they're running back in two groups again they've gotten separated once more when um, they see lights behind them it looks like the brown mountain lights it's not it's more Migo uh, heavily armed Migo soldiers coming to destroy them. Uh, but they do manage to get back to Brown Mountain. They um, actually end up getting to the... Okay, I was, I was just here. So They end up getting back where they're screaming, you know, we've got Tommy Bailey, people come running out of the pavilion. Turns out we made a random roll and there was about 20 guys there, most of whom were armed. Because it was getting dark and people are a little nervous about everything. Gosh. Okay, I think we're done exploring for now.
Another ravine. Oh no, that's my same ravine. These are the lower levels. Holy crap. This is crazy. Let's see if we can find our way back. Um, the men with guns open fire on these monsters coming out of the sky and uh, drive them off. One of them is actually shot down, crashed in the forest. It's not checked up on until the next day. Uh, Rockefeller ends up with his name in the paper once again. Which is probably a bad idea, considering the, the, the Amigo can use that to actually, like, track him down and find him later on, but whatever. That's That was a player decision, that's fine. It was not an, it was not a poor player decision, it was, it was not a poor character decision, let's say that. Um, it could come back and bite him in the butt, but I guess we'll see. So, that's it, we've done some more exploring of the crazy mines. Holy mackerel, so many ravines and stuff. Probably gonna try to get onto some, um, to some building next time if I can. I need to figure out something I would like to build. But uh, uh, real quick at the end, we're already running a little over, but I'm going to take you guys up and we will take a look at the tower that I've built. It ended up being right in the center of the river. I cut up from here. I wish I'd have take, gone up a different, in a different spot, but whatever. It is what it is. Is it day? Yeah. So I made a couple little bridges. Here's one. Here's our road. And there's a bridge that actually, so this is more of a bridge than a tower, I guess you could say. Uh, there's enough room to go under it with boats if you want to. Yeah, and we're right on the river. Very decorative. And then there's a way to get to the zombie spawner that's down there. So thanks for watching, everybody. As always, I appreciate it. And I will talk to you all next time. Terrifying. Whoa! Who? Oh no! Oof. Holy crap! More death straight down. Oh, goodbye, death. This all feels so dangerous. Oh. Ah, oh, crap. Just gonna walk up to me? No! Okay, that'll do. That'll do.